All right, welcome back to Talking Fitchburg. A special guest today. We we've we contacted the Burby Derby that's been in the Fitchburg area for many many years. And today I've got uh, Karen in uh, Karen Welsh from uh, the Burby Derby organization. Thank you for coming in. And joining You're welcome. Us. And, Thanks for asking. Uh, so I didn't know this was founded in 1993. If I was, do, was trying to do my homework check here ahead of time, um, and Jim Bur, I didn't even know it was Jim Burby that. That founded it. So. Right. Well, Jim is my husband. Is so he? Oh, he is. Well, there, I really didn't do my homework. Then. So, 1993 was the year that he founded our company, Burby Information Networks, here in Fitchburg. Gotcha. And in 2004 was when he looked around, and Jim was a big runner always, and looked around and saw there was no Thanksgiving Day race in the Madison area, and decided he was going to start one uh, and call it the Burby Derby. Uh, and also started the charity that uh, the Burby Derby race proceeds benefit, and that's the Technology Education Foundation. Unbelievable. Yeah. I should have asked you that question, you know, maybe in the phone interview. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, the very first year, 2004, we had about 1,100 runners. Um, we've gone as high as 8,000. This year we're expecting about seven. Um, and, and that varies with the weather forecast. Uh, this year it doesn't look too bad, actually. It's not in the 60s, but it's in the uh, high 40s, which, you know, for someone who stands out there from 4 o'clock in the morning on, I don't <laughs> consider that too bad. Um, I think the most important thing we'd like the people of Fitchburg to know about this race, first of all, we really appreciate the cooperation and support we have always had from the city of Fitchburg. That means everyone in City Hall, the police and fire departments, and also the community of Fitchburg that comes out to do this race. What sets the Burby Derby apart is we are a 100% nonprofit race. We are not for profit. So all of the proceeds from your race entry go to the technology education grants funded by Technology Education Foundation. Since this race started in 2004, nearly $700,000 wow. has gone, and this all stays in the area, in the Madison, Stoughton, Fitchburg area. Um, this past year, we in August, we awarded 15 grants for $85,000, and the recipients vary. It's always a school or a nonprofit. Um, some of those included the Falk Elementary School, Savannah Oaks Elementary School, um, the Madison Children's Museum, uh, the Boys and Girls Club of Dane County. So, you know, that money is really getting out there to make a difference in the technology available to help in learning process in the Madison area and to really make sure that all kids in the area have access to the latest learning technology. That's really what we're dedicated to doing. We're fortunate to have fabulous sponsors who take care of the expenses to put on the race. And you can well imagine that those can be pretty considerable. Those who have done our race know that we hire a professional firm to lay out the course, to do the start and finish. Uh, we take care of all that. We also have fabulous volunteers that come out. Um, runners tell us it's a very smooth race, and we are runners. Jim and I and most of the people who work on the Burby Derby are runners, so we know what people are looking for. We know what to expect, but that doesn't mean if you're not a serious runner, you know, if you're not doing half marathons and marathons that the Burby Derby isn't for you because it is for you. It's for anybody. So we have a 10K run uh, and we have a 5K run and 5K walk. And there's room in the 5K walk for people with strollers, for kids. Um, there's anybody that wants to come out and do this. And we do have a lot of families that do this race, that have made it a tradition, a part of their Thanksgiving Day. Um, th the great part is not only the family get-togethers, but you can go and eat all the pie <laughs> and stuffing you want when you go out and do your 5K, which is only about three miles, folks. It's not bad. Um, so it's really a great way to you know, build community, to support a great cause and to do something fun with your family before you all lay around and eat all day so it's just incredible the numbers I've we of course fact TV will be out there again on Thursday to, to film this but I've filmed it a couple of times yeah. and I'm just an, always impressed by a the amount of people that sign up for it but B there's a ton of people that will also watch the event oh yeah uh, and and not just in the area where when we're down on uh, East Cheryl but also uh, across the city yeah it's it's a lot of excitement in Fitchburg we know we're one of the big events in the city and we love it here um, you know our company was started here 
here, our building was here. We really feel committed to staying here because there is so much community support. Um, the neighbors are great. You know, we know that we inconvenience some of them a bit in the morning of the race. We try, we do everything we can to minimize that. Um, and hopefully it's not going to be um, an issue for anyone. But yeah, we have great community support here in Fitchburg. And uh, you've been we've had some video up here too. I'm always amazed on by the time the last walkers get out that the first people are coming into the oh, finish yeah. line. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny. Well, some of our 10k people are pretty fast. Yes, they are. Yeah, and um, and that's okay. You know, there's um, there's plenty of room for that. Um, but you know, you'll see you'll see people wearing all kinds of costumes. You know, that are just there to really have fun. So, and I, I know there are people who've been training for a couple months. Many people do the Burby Derby as their very first 5k. Oh wow! You know, and and so they're they're first getting up off the couch for the first time. They're they're you know saying I'm going to get through this winter by exercising. Burby Derby is a great way to do that. There's still plenty of time to register. www.burbyderby.com. Um, packet pickup starts this coming Monday. Um, runs Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you register before 7 p.m. Wednesday, you get our fabulous goodie bag. Ooh. There's a lot of great stuff in there. There's our usual toffee treats that everyone loves we have race gloves for people each runner will get those also the bondi bands company which does great race headbands for people <laughs> donated 7,000 bondi bands to wow. us so you can come and root through the boxes and find one you like um, we've got some great new hats at the burby derby store and the proceeds from that also go to the technology education foundation so we're really encouraging people to get out there and you know get some fresh air thanksgiving morning all right, Karen. Well, thank you so much. Good luck on uh, registering. Like I said, there's still some time. And, there is. And the, and the website again? www.burbyderby.com. Perfect. Karen, thank you so much for coming Thanks, in, and good Karen. luck with the, the event. Thanks so much. All right, stay tuned. we got PB&J next.